I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information Not too long won't keep you waiting One rap star the queen was dating Fuck that now cause he's a pagan Sitting on this it's been some ages All this time he's been on playlist In my mind I need to say this What kind of man will keep you waiting? So My battery doesn't die. Wow, it's nice! <gasps> Guys, look! This is cute! This is cute! <gasps> wow, guys, look! Isn't it cute? Okay, I need to snap. Okay. Guys, we're home! Wow, well, mum, I'm proud of you! Look at your sign! It's so cute! So, yeah, guys, you said that you pronounce it as Maze and Kunkalas. My mum's. This is my mum's house. Okay, so. Don't. So, here we are. Okay, my battery's gonna die, so. Moka! Is Moka gonna attack me? Are you sure? Mocha. He's not gonna bite me. No, she won't. But he doesn't know me. Hi, hi, doggies! Oh my god, look at this little doggy! Hi! Okay, let's walk. Okay. Oh my god, look at this cute. You're so small! Hi, puppy! You're so small, Baba! Say hi. Say hi to my camera, Papa. Wow. I don't want my battery to die. I hope it doesn't die. So guys, that's, you can kind of see my mum's house in the middle of the, all this wildness. So Mocha can never text anyone. No. Oh wow, it's a grey house. You know, I saw a bit of it, but. Mocha's jumping. Okay. Can you help me? Can you help pull this out? Well, it's changed a lot since I was last here because when I was last here, it wasn't even painted. Mommy, your house is nice. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what angle to show you. Oh, you're yeah, I don't know what angle to do it from. I can't really get it in. It's, I'm struggling to get it in, guys. I'm, I'm gonna go. This is the back. So look at, mommy. Look at your garden. This is nice. Guys, I'm gonna give you a proper tour later. Look at this, this is cute. I'm gonna give you a proper tour later. But here is the back. But yeah, I'll give you a proper tour later when um, I need to actually charge my battery. But isn't it cute? This is actually the back of the house at the front. But like I said, I'm gonna give you a proper tour in a minute. Hi! <laughs> it's not my fault, it's the, pan it's the pandemic's fault. Come on, you've taken too long. <laughs> However, you can hold my phone. It's the best thing you've done. Yeah. <laughs> huh? What time did this? You want this? Okay, well, one minute. One minute. One minute. Oh, guys, so this is. This is my cousin. This is my little cousin. This is my mum's house. But guys, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna do this tour later. Okay? Peace. Okay, guys, so me and Tokyo, look how small she is. Tokyo, look how small she is. Oh, Mocha likes you. Mocha, you like me? I didn't expect that. Hi, Baba. Why Mocha have a social issue? That's a social get better. Somebody will criticize you. What are you doing with your dog? Mocha, you just. why does she have a wound? Um, I think, I don't know why, it's just like a skin infection, but she'll get up there. Will she? Don't bite me! That's not nice. Bye, Mocha. Bye, Mocha. Uh, uh, really sad. Can we bite Mocha a toy? I don't, I don't think she wants a toy, I think she wants... 
Why the heck baby die? Well, don't bite me. What? I think some of them were sick. Okay, see you soon. Okay. Uh, thanks. Hi guys. So this is a very, very long vlog type of video, but actually it was difficult for me to shorten it because I didn't want to make a video where I just had loads of people that don't even like me being nosy about my family. So I just kind of put it in one and I feel like the people that really care about me will watch the whole video. So you kind of get to know about my family. Like in the middle of this video, you're gonna see me talk about um, like my dad more i'm gonna open up so if you don't really care about the house tour and whatever it's just you know it's just a house or whatever to you then you can like fast forward to um the middle where you'll see me talking in like a orange jacket about my um family and stuff my country and then the rest of it's just a vlog i show my parents um, um apartments i show the family home and i show show um my mum's farms my mum's got two farms and then she's got acres on her property so she also farms over there she's got loads of land but also things are not ex exactly finished um not that it matters but i know how haters are a lot of safety um but yeah we will get there <laughs> we will get there but n nonetheless obviously you can see it for what it is and you can um, enjoy yourself enjoy yourself guys and i hope you um like getting to know me like on a more personal level but yeah enjoy the vlog guys bye i don't i just clocked i don't want to do a tour when i've made a mess and i'm going to so I'm trying to do it in the state it's in. As you can see, I've already started with my mess. <laughs> but yeah, this is my room. Um, This is my room. My mum made a care pack for us. So these welcome flowers. And then there's like some to toiletries and things like that. It's only because the battery's low that it's out of focus. But this is my bathroom, my shower. But the best thing, the reason I chose this room because I had an option is because of the view. Let me show you the view. So this is my balcony. So I've stepped out of this door. And yeah, this is why I chose. Okay, so this is why I chose this room. The battery's there so the focus keeps coming off, but it's because I wanted to be on a balcony and I could snap you lot from here, like in the morning with the sunlight. And like just look at the palm trees it's just it's pretty it's just like closer to nature because the other room isn't doesn't have this bulb so this is my mum's pathway this is a side house i don't think the side house is done Oh, these two. <laughs> Tokyo. Come on, Baba. So this is a side house. It's actually not done. Um, you can see a bit. You can see um, like it's got like glass doors and stuff. And there's like a woman's and men's bathroom on the side over there just because like my mom said if anyone ever has a party. Hi Baba. It's really difficult to see the house because of all these trees. You kind of get the gist. The side I've shown on Instagram is actually the back of the house. God, there's like a fly following me, guys. It's really difficult to show you. 
Hey, blah, blah. So I'm gonna start with the front of the house and then I'm gonna go to the back. So finally we can see some house. This is the front of the house. So you know how you would drive up? You would drive up and this is what you would see. You would drive up and this is like the front door that no one uses. It's a bit dark, I don't know if you can see. Wait, it's less dark. No. But this is the front door. No one uses it. <laughs> no one uses it. So yeah, I guess from an angle, this is the front of the house. As you can see, there's still things that need to be done because the house has been, I mean, it's been, it's been made on and off for five years. It might sound like a long time, but my dad paid with this in cash. Do you know what I mean? So he just used his salary to build it. So I guess in that sense, he's not in any debt. It makes sense, you know? <laughs> Look at this dog. Yeah, it makes sense. Because um, obviously I've been trying to put pressure on my mum to get a pool. Or like the pool is like the next big stage. So this is the back of the house. <laughs> There's no big trees in front of it. That's why you can I can actually show you. Yeah, the other area just blocks the house. It's like in the middle of the jungle. So um yeah. This is like I don't, I don't know what you call this area. A patio. If you go through those doors. There is a living room, I suppose. This is the angle I showed on Instagram. There's like a garden here. Because a lot of the garden is wild. It's actually not kept. But this bit's kind of been manipulated and kept a bit. It's like a bit cute. I think she'll do a bit more, but pool first. <laughs> That's what I want. I want a swimming pool. But yeah, this house is just in the middle of the jungle, basically. <laughs> but yeah, also she needs to, it's really dangerous, so she needs to put like glass um, on the top of the balcony, of course, like someone could just die. <laughs> so, it's like a working progress, I guess. Cute gardeny bits. Like I said, my dad obviously, this is like mainly my dad's money. I think actually my mum, some of my mum's money too. What? No idea what is it, this is. <laughs> and this is the view from here. And then one can go inside and do a tour. I never did a tour before. <laughs> You're trying to do what? Oh. 
Yeah, you need to pick a place to go. Okay, struggling. Oh, God. guys this is the lighting is terrible the lighting is terrible it's really dark right but you can see it's like gray and gold i think once i get into the shade it'll look a hell of a lot better but this is number one it's cute i think it's cute i've never seen it can you focus oh my god was that out of focus but yeah you can see i think there's two there's one property there and there's one on the other side but we're gonna go in in a second this is a much better view so yeah guys 
bit, it's just empty in here. Obviously it's huge because I'm used to like England sizes and everything in England is small. I'm so sorry about the focus. But yeah, this is the kitchen. <laughs> you know what, I'm doing this. I'm snapping everything at the same time. So this is the kitchen. Oh God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is a kitchen. Wow, mom, it's nice. God. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Oh, that's a toilet. Oh, there's a toilet here. It's nice. It's bigger than my apartment in Chelmsford. It's like three times the size. It's not into there. How can you just go back? It's just an empty room. It's lovely. It's lovely. And then... Here's another room. So it's a three bedroom apartment. It's gorgeous, mummy. See you guys. Obviously, um, this will be mine one day. <laughs> so. so, can you film me? Film me. Yeah, but wait, film me. I'm filming you. Okay, come. Come down to get your tissue. So this is my bedroom. Yes, please. So yeah, there's two of these apartments, one here and one there, and yeah, they belong to my mum, and you can rent them anytime, guys. <laughs> but I just really want to quickly talk about um, something that um, I've never addressed. Do you know what I mean? Coming on holiday to see my mum actually opened my eyes quite a lot to um, just like, it just made me realize, all right, like a lot of people think I'm really vulnerable and a lot of people think I'm very transpa transparent online. And I am to a certain degree, but I think I'm only transparent when it comes to myself. I'm actually not that transparent when it comes to my family. Obviously I have no right to be, it's their business. Do you get what I mean? So I didn't realize how much I'm not willing to share until I came here. Because obviously a lot of people just wanna a lot of people had a lot of questions, so a lot of people were asking me why, for instance, my parents have a big house, does it mean they're rich, or... You, there's, there's different variables. For instance, you know, it's, it's a valid question because either I'm rich or either it's really cheap, like really, really, really cheap to build over here and this whole house costs 20k. Like, so when people ask these questions, I understand where they're coming from. So, I'm gonna touch just a little bit on um some of those questions like my dad for instance but i think i'll do another video more on my dad later um because obviously i won't show his picture or anything but i will touch on him not too much but just enough but um m more or less um okay before i get into the, my country thing i'm going to give you a small insight into my family it's so weird because i thought you lot knew everything about me but i guess you don't <laughs> I guess you don't. Okay, so one of the things you don't know about me, for instance, is I think a lot of you, a lot of you guys know that I'm the oldest. Um, I am the oldest of three girls. So I am the big sister. So as goofy as I am online and as funny as I am online, I'm actually not that um, silly when it comes to my responsibilities as a big sister. My parents left us in the UK um i would say maybe 10 to 12 years ago i'm not really sure on the number ballpark so i had to step up to the plate and be a responsible big sister so like i've dr i drove my sister to uni and like stuff like that and if anything like if shit hits the fan then you know big sis is there and I'll, I'll try and save the day but like yeah if something breaks in the house we try we have to try and figure it out this doesn't mean that our parents are not there to help us financially but in terms of the support there physically not really now the reasons um, we don't live with my parents because they went to chase their dreams um, 
so by the way me, my, me, none of my sisters are really really young so um don't worry like we were i think we were all over the age of maybe 18 when they left i think so 18 or 16 i'm not really sure guys <laughs> maybe 17 my younger sister was 17 when they left something like that ah do you know what my maths my maths isn't mathing but it doesn't even it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter the point is they they they, they left us um yeah like 10 years ago um my dad got a really good job and it was abroad and but before that he had like a normal job like like a good job but it was a normal job you know the type of job where you earn maybe 60 grand a year and then he, the type of job he got now where he had to go abroad it was a really 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 good job um to the point where this job is now like quadrupled your your salary like you're making dumb money like dumb money compared to what you used to get in the uk and they had the option to either upsize in the uk or pursue one of their other dreams which was to invest back in africa i think my parents believe that they weren't investing in africa enough so they thought we need to we're proud to be african and stuff so we're going to give back to um our country um hence not give back but you know like at the end of the day in, in a way you are because you know how economy the economy works like when you're sorry guys <coughs> so sorry the way the economy works and where the, the way economics works is when you're spending in your country and you're you're um trading in your country like it just helps the economy in general and it helps your national gdp be like stronger than it would be if no one was like putting money into their like their economy and their country so it's really really like it's, it's a good thing to like build in your country to trade in your country it does help the national gdp anyway cut long story short um i you know i think my maths is really bad um but maybe i was maybe i was 20 when they left i, I don't know but the, all i do know god I'm, I'm gonna sneeze again i'm allergic all i do know is i think i was in uni when they left and um my, but not the first year my second year of uni so i have one year of debt but my second year of uni my parents were able to um pay like straight out of their pocket for my um university because there's this like perk at my dad's job where they like will help you with your with, with education with your kids you're still left with a fee but it's a very low fee so they pay a really big percentage like basically the majority and then your parents are left with a little bit on top so my second year and third year was paid for um yeah um but yeah uh, what, what, I mean, what else is interesting um, I guess some people could say I wouldn't say I was spoiled but some people would say I had it easy so for instance like most of my friends paid for their own driving lessons I never paid for my driving lessons um, when I finished driving my mom just got me a car um, things like that um, my little sister benefited the most because she was the youngest so she she got loads more like she could have gone to private school but i think she didn't want to or she didn't like it but things things like that and then in general my, my parents used to send me and my sisters on holiday every year um not necessarily to our country just anyway if you wanted to, if you wanted to go to spain if you wanted to go to america or mexico or new york or what whatever my parents would buy us um you know all-inclusive paid holidays and send us on you know little adventures so me, me and my sisters started going on holiday by ourselves i think we were pretty young i think i was 20. my maths is my maths is horrible i think i was about 20 yeah and i remember my little sister she's seven years younger than me so oh, god yeah she might have been 14 ish something like that we get but we'd go on holiday together yeah oh I, I do want to say something because some of you might be like oh my god they left when you're yeah oh my god that's why my maths is a mathing you guys might think oh my god they left when your sister was like 13. my mom stayed for a bit my mom stayed for a bit i think my mom waited until my sister was old enough to go to uni um but literally the day so her first year but literally the day she was put in there 
she went um, to chase her dreams. So then after that, I was I was obviously responsible with my other sister. My other sister is only two years younger than me, so yeah. Sorry about this. I apologize because you know, yeah. Um, because I was just thinking, Raj, did they leave when? What's her face with that? Nah, they didn't. Mum waited a bit. So let's just say my mum has now built this house. So my mom, my, my dad's been wherever he's been for like 10 12 years and then my mom waited for my sister to grow up a little bit so my mom had to wait like five years for her to be seven maybe maybe five years four to five years for her to be 17 18 that type of age so my mom came to africa and then um has been building her dream house um my dad paid for the whole this is another thing like obviously i'm not here to boast about my dad but i you know i got a, just a few negative comments and um, especially where people try and put down my dad and act like this house costs 20k it didn't um my dad's job is where he can it's 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 good enough at the end of the day to um not have to get into debt and get a mortgage so what my dad did is so let's just say ballpark my dad's getting i don't know 10 grand a month in his salary or i don't know 15 grand a month he put all that money into his dreams his house his investments because it's quite a lot of money like to be honest do you, do you know what i mean it's a decent amount of money like so he would start and he would build a little bit of it and the next month he would add on and, and buy his other materials or other this or other that or whatever and then before you knew it maybe four years later they've built the house um they still things that need to be done like right now i'm sitting on a balcony and it hasn't got a, like a railing or like some sort of like a, like something to protect me from falling like on the friggin ground um however um like he like they own this you know they, they don't owe anyone anything like so they've done really well for themselves so i uh, you know that a comment is not appreciated but um they spent a lot of money on this house like a lot a lot this house is definitely worth way more than the house that me and my sisters live in enfield yeah, they spent a lot. My dad spent a lot of this house, and it was cash. It was cash paid, like so. No one can ever take that away from my dad. My dad's a G for that. But anyway, the cocoa of the matter. Let's talk about it. Yeah, the reason I wanted to make this video, and you know, I really never deeped it. But basically, guys, this is my dilemma, and I really want you guys to interact with this video because I don't know what to do. But basically, this is the dilemma. My parents love me, and they support me, and they and they think I'm lit. My dad thinks I'm a go getter. And by the way, not all my family is like some shit judgmental family. Some of my family members are lit. I have one uncle, big up you. Um, uh, he knows who he is. He's very, very... God, I think my mom's back. He's very, very young-minded. So he, he's very, very like, he doesn't necessarily like live life like a traditional african man like he supports me he's a g big up him but i have some family members that just don't understand what i'm doing my mom and dad don't really give a f i'll be i'll be 100 real and that's all, all that matters they want me to do what i need to do if i want to be the female naira marley they don't care like do you live life how you want to live it and be happy but a couple of family members are judgmental now outside of the judgmental family members i live in a country that I would say isn't, is that lesser? Yeah. I live in a country that I would say isn't extremely, um, how can I say this? Not that it's not popping, but I live in a country that is, there isn't a lot of us in the UK, let's just say that. So when it comes to representing my country in the UK, really i should be doing it loud and proud because it's like yo we exist we're lit we're here we live in the uk we live in africa some of us are doing well in life like do you understand like it makes sense for me to want to be like yo like i'm from here but the only problem is this we have a small community i used to rep my country this is another thing people don't understand before i was on bad chat i was an instant babe so i used to rep my country then what happened is got posted here there and every because they have blogs for you for every country has their own blogs a jamaican blog a nigerian blog we have our own blogs too on instagram and all this stuff so i just get posted and guess what a, a, the majority of people especially like people like you watching who are young a majority of people will show me love however there's always a few people that want to hate then you get the judgmental uncles or or an investor that's working with my mom or my dad and then he's like yo is this your daughter and it's 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 like uh, it's, it's, it's just like 
they don't understand it. It's meant to be a Christian nation. I'm only doing that because you lot sin a lot as well. But like, it, it was a catch-22. So I made a promise to my mum that, you know what? I must stop repping my country. Now this is what you lot, so I, I, I'm doing this video once and once only so you lot can hear me. Things might change. I may feel different next year, but I'm just telling you where I'm at now. So me and my mum made a bet, not a bet, we made an agreement that I must stop repping my country because when I rep my country, what happens is weird bitter betties wanna chat me and cause ag for me and I can't be me. You have to understand guys, I'm a controversial personality and I'm not gonna stop, I'm not gonna change who I am for nobody, ever. Um, people in England are dry, um, they all wanna be sheep, they all wanna be a certain way. I don't have to be like you man. I wanna be me, I wanna be Lani, I wanna be lit, I wanna be funny, I wanna be sexy. And if you don't understand it, that's your business. Do you understand? So. And my mom loves me, my dad loves me, they, 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 they think I'm a go-getter, they think like, do you, they think I'm confident. They love me, like, go Lani. But at the end of the day, it's long when everyone, imagine I was a celeb here. And like, every, every, if I do something, guys, I've got a song about tits coming out. So what am I supposed to do, drop a song about tits? And then, that's, and then like 30 people are sending it to my mom, it's kind of long. So what I decided to do is like, fall back. Don't get me wrong, I haven't got a problem saying where I'm from, but what I don't want to do is go online and tag tag the country I'm in like bears so that people are like oh yeah she's I mean no the minute I landed I actually did it I actually showed where I, a, a few of you saw, like 3,000 people watched the, the the insta story I tagged that I was in the country I'm in I was on a blog within 2.5 seconds I thought nope deleted it because it's just long they might not talk about me today because I'm not doing anything controversial today. I'm just on holiday um, but they might talk about me when my, my booby song comes out and I don't I don't care But I don't want the ag for them. However, this is the question I want to ask you guys because it goes deeper than this um, I would like to be um, Supported here. I would like to be a personality here. I would like to rep my country in England I would love to do all of that. I would love it But it would have it would affect certain people and I have to respect that But it gets to a point where you have to feel like because my sisters they're in the middle They're like you just need to live your life and your parents and, and mom and dad just need to get like accepted But how do you feel do you guys feel like? You should always put your feelings before your parents or like what is it because I look at <laughs> I know he's a man But I look at artists like Naira and I've seen some of the music he's put out or the content he's put out and I think raw like he's just him he's just him and I guess his parents just have to get on with it and sometimes I wonder like they'll, will they just get over it will they get on with it like should I just should I just basically should I just tell them bro like suck it up do you get what I'm coming from so that's my question for you guys because some of you guys you guys will follow everything your parents want you to do and you would do the you would do a whole degree a whole career that you never wanted to do because of what your parents said and some of you guys are more you stand on your own you're rebels you don't give a f it's very difficult another thing i want to say before i head out and before you guys write your advice is lastly and the most important thing is the positives always have to outweigh the negatives in anything in life or it's not worth it now at the moment the positives of being Lani, for me in the UK, outweigh the hate. Of course they, they, they. I get opportunities, I get paid, it's great, it's lit. But in, 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 um, in Africa at the moment, no, it will just be an L. But what would be nice is if maybe I saw some form of success, like a Naira Mali. Like a KSI. KSI used to put his parents on his YouTube channel and they used to talk about sex. I'm sure they got cussed out by their friends. But when you get to a level now where you're buying your mum cars, houses, first class tickets to the Bahamas and everything's cushy, like when there is maybe money or financial reward, then maybe it's, maybe, maybe the positives outweigh the negatives. So I need to get to a place where I think, you know what? The positives outweigh the negatives. My parents are up. My parents are already up, but my parents are up, up, up up because of me do you understand that so up they've gone clear because they look at my daughter to the point where maybe their friends their friends kids are, are begging it to be around me so i think when i get to a place where i feel like i know success is inevitable and i've made more progress i will be more confident to be like mom and dad suck it up i just bought you a rari but i'm not there yet okay but i want to know how you guys feel because you guys might might deal with what i deal with but in a different way like i said you're doing a degree for your parents and you feel the pressure you're doing your you got you feel the pressure to get married and have kids for your parents your aunties chat you because of this your aunt your uncles chat you because of that one more thing i forgot to say 
my uncle found out about my Instagram channel when I was beefing uh, my man, TW. Oh my God. The way this guy cussed me, called me a Jezzy, said I sold my, sold my soul to the devil, he said I took drugs. Because I'm animated. I, I'm, in, in real life, I can be a bit more chill in it. Obviously, the camera's not there. I'm, I might be just chill. But like, obviously, I have a, I have a personality. Part of my personality is to be excited. So, of course, I'm going to show part of my personality the most on YouTube. Like, what do you guys want me to do? Be like this on YouTube? No. So, my uncle saw that. And also, my, I'm never hyping around my uncle. Why would I be? He's not my brethren. Do you get it? So, he saw that for the first time. And he said to my mum that I, I, take, I take drugs. Like, I need to go rehab. I take drugs. Do you think that's funny? Like, to hear that you take drugs. It's not funny. It's not funny. It is not amusing. It is insulting. Um, and he was, and he tried to call me, and he tried to come to my house and stand outside my house, knocking on the door to talk to me, to intervene on my personality or what I'm doing online. Like that's all long. It's all long, and I'm not gonna listen to nobody. Like no one can tell me how to act, especially in the UK. But the dilemma now is, can I be me here? Do you get it? But I just want to know how you guys feel about life and and parents and, and judgmental aunties, uncles and being yourself and the battle of living your life for you versus them the battle of whether you even things like being gay bro how many of you like want to be bisexual or, or, or like boys or like girls but you can't even do that because of your parents because of your country all these different things like when, when do you put yourself first and think i'm gonna be gay even if everyone chats you chats me chats you says you brought me up wrong you have to firm it because i'm your kid like i want to know how you guys feel about that is, is, is it right to say that? I don't even think there's a right or wrong answer, but I want to know how you guys feel about that. And I'm going to end this video here, and then I'm going to react to Bianca, if it's before or after. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, love you. Bye! Are you following me? I am. <laughs> Faster! You're a bit rubbish! I'm not i it's okay. We'll stretch it up. No, I don't want to run. Did you grow all of this? Yeah. Did you? It's too wet. I'm going to have other eyes when I get home. Should I just finish? The, the, the thing itself is a gun. Where this trees there? So all of this oh, here is... Oh, what are you doing? This guy thing you put in the pocket, the thing you put in the gun. This is end... Um, end um, I can see it, sure. Wait, just, oh, you said you'd do me first, now do you. Help, oh, please. Yeah, Guys, wait. The sun, though. You ready? Yeah, but this, I'm um, dark, can't I? I'll take out the Why sun. Why the beggars? Why the guam? So here it is. I'm going to interview you. What's your name? Lani Good. Lani Good. So, uh, you've been eating some ground nuts. That's the house. And everyone, look at her drip. Look at the drip. So, what is what's this? Tell us about your drip. So, these are the Timberland mm. 883s. Mm. Mm. Um, exclusive drop. Got these off StockX. And this is what Had you. Bid. Are, are, they, are, they, are these like really when you're a drippy farmer? This is like the drippiest of drippiest farmers. Drippiest farmer? Yeah, only the real farmers know about this. You don't know. Do you want to? And press a button. Um, and I think a minute or 30 seconds and then switch off. What? No. When you, oh, just switch it off. You don't press the button. Just switch it off. And like, it's filming? Yeah. What's up, young? I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information Not too long will keep you waiting One rap star the queen was dating Fuck that now cause he's a pagan Sitting on this it's been some ages All this time he's been on playlist In my mind I need to say this What kind of man will keep you waiting?